good day friends it is me hl mod tech and i'm back once again with the adam stack a5 m50 pro friends we're going to use another tinkercad design that was exported as an svg so let's get cracking so we are in try try again mode we're going to use this wood that was about six millimeters may have been pine i'm not really sure then the real trick is this design was built in tinkercad it is an SVG and there are tools that make it so it can be a laser cutting project. Friends, I'm going to start right here. There is a tutorial. I'll make sure you have a link to this. The project is so insanely cool. This is simply an SVG file that someone shared with me. And then when you switch from default to outer line, you get a project that has both lines for using on your laser cutter or your CNC machine. You can adjust the parameters to get the exact style you want, and then boom, take it right to your laser cutter, which is what we're going to do right now. As you can see, I am in light burn. I've got the atom stack ready to be turned on. When we click file and choose import, we need to track down that file. I have stored mine in the 3D modeling folder, and bingo, <laughs> as it goes away from me, there is the cross. All right, friends, so this design is awesome, but I'm trying to make a charm that you would hang in a necklace. So I'm going to hold down control and I'm going to scale it till it's a size that's smaller. This is more like what I'm looking for. You can see here it's 10, 20, 30, 40 millimeters up. Uh, that is going to be right in my wheelhouse. Let's check my cuts and layers. Friends, I had two failures. I'm not going to show you. One was a setting and the other was where I put it on the wood. All right, friends, here we go with try number three. Let's double check our settings, cuts and layers. I'm gonna do eight passes, 100% power, 225. Let's fire up the laser, even though it's gonna be loud. Move it out there with a couple of shift nudges. One, two, three, one, do some normal nudges, nudge left, let's do frame, I can go a couple more left, notice this time I am double checking my wood to make sure I'm in a spot that does not have knots, try, try again, this is how you learn. And friends, don't forget, always grab your goggles, and let's make something magical. Friends, there is our cute design. As you can see, this time it is perfect. We'll adjust the camera so that I can get in here and keep it in focus a little better. As you can see, that is all cut out and I'm just giving it a slight press to make that fall out so we have an awesome little cross. Bingo. That is exactly what I was aiming for. Failure number one, I only did three passes and I knew I needed at least six. All right, friends, so I have shut everything off. Let's see just how cool our little design is. First, ooh, the knot is a problem. All right, friends, so there you have it. A super fun tiny cross. The project was a total blast and I wanna send a shout out to Nick 
Thank you so much for using that messaging tool on my website to reach out and ask me how to make this all come to life. Of course, friends, if you're looking for more information on the Atom Stack, I do have a playlist full of videos. And of course, you can find links in the description. And finally, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Please also hit that share button so more people can learn about HL Mod Tech. Of course, it absolutely makes my day if you take time to leave a question, comment, or suggestion. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me. HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.